Hi, I'm Matt Nelson, a primary grader at CGC. Collectors often ask us how we grade comics, so we thought, in the spirit of transparency, and to have a little fun, we'd show you exactly how we do it. Today, we're gonna to be grading a copy of Incredible Hulk 181. It's the first appearance of Wolverine, came out in 1974, and this is one of the most popular comic books among collectors. As you can see, we've graded it a 3.5 with off-white pages, and I'm gonna show you how we arrived at that grade. When I grade a comic book, I use a checklist. There's a first impression, then identifying any variants or pedigree, followed by a page count, and then assigning the page quality. Then I do a detailed restoration check, and then assess all the defects to arrive at a final grade. So let's go grade this comic book. To start with, a clean workspace is very important. That involves a flat table that has no clutter, no food or drink. Also equally as important is the lighting. And the best kind of lighting is a natural lighting, which can be achieved by combining incandescent and fluorescent light. Magnification is also important, and here I have my trusty loop to examine the comic book, particularly small areas when I'm looking for restoration or small defects. It's also important to point out that CDC graders do not wear gloves when grading because it interferes with touching the book. That tactile aspect is just as important as the visual aspect, especially when checking spines for glue and also touching the cover for substance or reglossing or even checking the flexibility of paper. So my first impression of this copy is that it's not a high grade copy, it's more mid to low grade, and that's due to several defects I'm seeing on the front cover. It includes a piece out of the corner, some creasing on the cover that breaks color, a spine stress lines that also break color, and a large light stain in the logo. On the back cover, I noticed several creases to the bottom corner and also to the top corner, and also some light soiling and staining as well. Now I'm going to count the pages. This step is very important because if a comic book is missing any pages, wraps, or coupons from the interior, it can adversely affect the value. This copy of Hulk 181 has 16 pages, and so we'll start from the back and begin counting the interior pages. One, two, 14, 15, and 16. So all 16 pages are there, which makes this copy complete. It's important to point out that every copy of Hulk 181 has a Marvel value stamp on page 10. Oftentimes, the stamp is cut out, and if it is, it can adversely affect the grade of the book. Now I'm going to perform a restoration check. The most common restoration found on Hulk 181 is color touch, which is usually on the spine or somewhere on the front cover. I'm looking at all the creases and spine stress lines, and I see that they're still white, which means that no one has used any color to fill those spots in, so I don't think this copy has any color touch. Next, I'm going to run my thumb up and down the spine to check for glue, any hardness or crustiness. I don't feel any, which rules out spine splits or any staple reattachments. I've also evaluated the edges of the comic book and determined that this comic is not trimmed. I'm now going to check the centerfold, especially the staple area, to see if the staples have been disassembled or taken out. This is very important for Hulk 181 because, as we pointed out, the Marvel value stamp is often missing from page 10, and sometimes, people will take the book apart and actually replace the entire wrap. If that's the case, the book will receive a qualified grade, which can adversely affect its value. One common printing defect that's found on many copies of Hulk 181 is an ink smear often found in the middle part of the spine that can also extend to the bottom part. How this ink smear affects grade depends on the severity of the smear and also the grade of the comic book otherwise. As you can see, this copy does not have the ink smear. I'm now going to assess page quality, one of the things we identify on the CDC label. This particular page appears white in the middle, but it has a bit of a halo around the edge that's dark. And so based on those two factors combined, I'm going to assign a page quality of off-white. Now I'm going to assess all the defects on this comic book to show how we arrived at the grade. Sometimes a comic book will have one or two major defects, and other times it will have an accumulation of smaller defects, like this copy. We'll start with the missing piece off the corner. A piece this size that's missing typically will lower a comic book to around 6.0, but clearly there are other things going on with this book. Next, bringing in the creases and the spine stress lines, that's going to drop the book down to about a 4.5. And finally, the stain in the logo is going to bring it down to a 3.5 once you bring all of those defects together. So there you have it. 
That's how I arrived at a 3.5 grade with off-white pages on this Hulk 181. So I encourage you to apply these concepts to your own comic books when submitting them to CGC to test yourself. I did this for many years before I joined the team. Make sure to follow CGC on social media. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. And if you have any questions about the grading process, make sure to leave it in the comments section because we're going to be answering questions in future videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon.